Hello everyone, in this video, I will verify the encoder behind this style motor. In the previous video, we used the free run mode directly deliver a value to this terminal, and this terminal deliver the hypothesis to this style motor, so we can run the style motor. Also, set 3355, that value, so we can control the style motor run one revolution per second. When we run the one revolution per second, we can verify if the stack motor, the hypothesis from the encoder, we can receive 1k hertz because that encoder, that is a 1024 lines per revolution. If we run one second per revolution, that means every second we need to receive around 1000 pulses from this encoder. That's around 1k hertz. So using this score meter, we can measure the hypothesis from the encoder. We can verify this signal. Okay, now I'm connecting one wire here using this probe. This probe go to the score meter. And this terminal, that is an A phase from the encoder. And to reveal this encoder, we can see this encoder power supply that from 8 to 30, that is a back off encoder. And from this encoder sticker, it shows 1024 lines per revolution. And from the software wise, from this KL2541, from here, as we can see, we can now see the encoder value. But we can control this velocity as shown from the previous video, I said 3355. So the style motor will run one revolution per second. Okay? And now I'm going to control the stack motor run one revolution per second. And in the meantime, I will use the score meter to measure the hypothesis, measure the frequency from the encoder. Okay, now I'm going to fire this motor. And in the meantime, and as we can see now, the motor is running one revolution per second. Okay, and from the scope, we can see. From the right side, I'm measuring the frequency. If I press this hold, it will show 1.2 kHz. Okay, it shows 1.1 kHz. Okay, it shows 1.09 kHz. As we can see now, the encoder is measuring around 1 kHz, this frequency. So this verify, this encoder can give us 1 K pulses per revolution. Okay? In the meantime, from this position here, so we can see the encoder is measuring. It gives us the position value. However, because this module has a certain range here, so this position value just from zero and ramp up and count up to the top and then go to zero. Also, this KL2541 is measuring this encoder, is reading the encoder probably. Because some cases, if you forget powering the encoder, probably you won't receive the encoder value. Meantime, if we review the indicators from this module, we can see the A, B, C, especially A and B, this hypothesis from encoder, that is the second line, these two indicators. Now let's go to this terminal and let's watch this indicator. We can see these two indicators that represent A and B from encoder. Okay, that giving us hypothesis. So that's why it's showing the solid, but actually it's flickering. Let me change this speed setting from 3300 to 1000. It's not slow enough. Let's drop down the speed. Let's do 200. So now I set just a 200. The stack motor is running very slow. So now we can see this two indicator is flickering. We can see the hypothesis changing. Okay, and if I stop the motor, OK, 
Okay, I'm going to stop the motor. So we can see the pulse will not change anymore. Okay, this is the encoder verification. Before we actually set up the system, especially like this step motor with the encoder, we need to manually set up the encoder signal. This is not the same as a servo motor. For the servo motor, basically this is easy. Most of the cases, the servo drive will automatically learn the servo motor and the encoder. However, for this case, we need to manually measure or manually calculate the step motor and the encoder. We must worry carefully about this uh, encoder wiring and the verification. All right, that is for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.